Yo, what's up guys? Boss here, and I'm back in another YouTube video, and we are on my level 10 account right now at 5051, and what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be playing some ladder right now at this trophy range on my mini account, because I asked you guys if you'd be interested in seeing a video like this, and you guys said you would be, because if you remember, I did my level 1 series, and this time, it's going to be a level 10, my level 10 account that I upgraded from level 1. So the reason why I think this would be beneficial to you guys is because a lot of you guys who are watching right now are probably level 10, level 11, 11, a level 12. I don't really know, but around this trophy range, I would say, and I have some good tips for you guys, like of like decks you could use and stuff that are like good at this range. Like look at my deck right here. The reason why I'm using this is because this consists of the highest level cards I have for the most part. You can see here I have two three level 11 cards right now um and the reason why i got those is from trading so trading is a very useful way to get cards also global tournaments is a great way to get those trade tokens and if you save gems you can buy the rewards that's what i did that's what i spent my gems on and then you also see here my spells poison snowball poison's a very good spell to have at this trophy range because there's so much like wizard and witch and stuff mega knight's a great card because there's a lot of cards, you know, that are good, you know, for the Mega Knight to go up against, such as like the E-Barbs, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about because you guys verse the E-Barbs all the time. Mega Knight is probably one of the best counters for them, to be honest. Z I mean, Skarmie is good against them too, but honestly, they can just be zapped away, so Mega Knight's a bit more consistent against that. Also, it's good to place on top of like, you know, Wizard, Witches, Executioner, all that kind of stuff it's you know really good against and then graveyard's just a really solid win condition in my opinion this is just kind of a safe deck i feel like and then you have you know the building because there's a lot of you know rgs golems stuff like that and just it's a really nice building to be able to distract those for a bit and then have the rest of your cards kill it at night which is just super good in this meta so let's just go into it try to get 5100 i might make another video on this account next week maybe trying to get to uh I don't know maybe 5500 would be a good goal to get to as a level 10 by the end of the season because the season ends in i believe like 13 days so we're going up against a level 11 level 11 isn't too high up i versed a couple level 12s already i actually versed a level 13 uh earlier today which is absolutely insane so level 11 obviously not too bad but i mean look at that he's got a uh level um he has a level 13 minion horde so that minion horde is definitely going to be annoying so you can see here even if a level 11's you know i would say fairly high up uh 5000 for level 11 isn't bad i would say but you can see they have over leveled cards so that's why you need to be very you know kind of passive and wait for your opportunity to go in aggressively so right now i'm just going to go ahead and drop my mega knight in the back Reason why is because I know I'm up a couple elixir. After he played those arrows, I just knew he was down elixir. Those were kind of three elixir when he wasn't even full on elixir. That's the reason why I knew I was up elixir. I mean, look at this. We're up so much elixir right now. It's kind of insane. It almost makes me feel like I was going to say like it almost seemed like he kind of gave up there for a second, but he was just down so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and snowball that he was into the opposite lane and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the Ewa's damage and then go in for a graveyard here and have my poison ready for his minion horde. There it is. Took a while for him to play it. So it is gonna take an extra tick to kill it just because it is level 13 and the poison's only level 10, but it does end up going down and we have a significant lead right now. And if he does go in aggressively with a balloon, we have a Goblin Cage, we have a Night Witch, we have an Ewiz, and we're almost back to a Snowball, so we can shut that down pretty easily. Let's go ahead and Night Witch, same lane as the Princess, and he's just going to go ahead and split his Skarmie, so I feel like that's not going to do much for him. I think here, good Mega Knight, this will counter his, and he's going to go in for a Balloon, so we need to be really careful about this. I need definitely need to get a Snowball off on it. It might get one hit, but I don't think it's going to get two. Yeah, it doesn't even get one. That was really nice. That's why I really like having the Snowball in the deck. So I know what a lot of you guys are going to ask me. Can I use Zap? You can, but honestly, even if the Snowball's a little lower level than your Zap, I would prefer using it just because... Um, 
just the pushback is super nice in my opinion to have um but zap works okay too because you know what that means you're gonna have an extra uh it, that means you're gonna have a reset so like if there's a sparky or like an inferno tower so it has its own uses as well so that's gonna be a game also zaps good if you're versing like skarmy or something oh and log uh if you have a high level log go ahead and use that too but honestly my log i think is level i believe 10 which is the same level so in that case i'm gonna stick with snowball so we had a pretty nice win there that guy wasn't that over level to be honest i mean he had a level 13 minion horde i guess that what that a level 13 minion horde i guess is a little over leveled considering he's a level 11 that's two levels higher but not too bad so let's go ahead and claim this gold here and now we're just one win away from 5100 and if i win this game and get it i might play one or two more because it would be a pretty short video if i just end after that so we'll go ahead and search and we found a level 12 here so here we go versing some now a higher level person who's one level higher than the person we just versed but with that being said we don't know what level his cards are his cards could be like level 13 he might have like level 11 cards it could be he could be under level we'll just kind of have to see depends if someone donates a lot that generally means their cards are going to be lower level than their king because you get a lot of uh xp from donating I'm gonna go ahead and poison this wizard here it's not gonna kill it but it is going to bring it down quite a lot and hopefully that princess does walk into the poison i don't think it's going to though unfortunately look at that mega knight it's gonna be level 12 so this guy's gonna have a mega knight one level higher than us uh but ours of course is gonna win because our tower's helping out and i do hope it jumps and kills this princess otherwise that's gonna be really annoying in my opinion oh no he's gonna have a healer so that's not really something i wanted to see because let's go with a goblin cage here by the way guys uh just a tip if you're a low level i would not recommend using the healer so like in my situation because obviously you guys know you get it upgraded to your to your king level so for me obviously i don't want to use it because a level 10 healer is not that good against like level 11s level 12s um even though it is a really solid card and needs a small hp nerf i still don't think it's good enough for you to use it too under leveled so i could you is here but honestly i think snowball is the better choice here because that's still gonna basically completely finish off the wizard for a cheaper trade I'm gonna go ahead and poison here because i don't really want to have to worry about killing that princess um those bats did take it out but honestly i think without the poison it would have stayed alive i'm not sure though uh but yeah we'll just keep playing this passively here we want to see what his win condition is it, he might just have a mega knight as his win condition which would be pretty interesting so let's go ahead and cycle our own mega knight in the back here and he's gonna have a minion horde so just like the last guy we just versed a uh, high level minion horde We'll go ahead and snowball that. Um, we need to get an Ewiz down to clean up the rest. And he's going to go for a fireball. Pretty interesting fireball, in my opinion. Really aggressive, too. Uh, but we're still going to hold off on going in for a graveyard right now. Like I said, you need to be really passive going against higher level people. So to go in for your graveyard, you need to be certain that it's safe. And now might be a good opportunity because he might have just wasted a princess. Yeah, so now, guys, is a good opportunity to go for a graveyard, but we need to be really careful about his minion horde. Um, there it is, but I'm not going to have the elixir to poison it right away. And since it's level 12, it's going to take an extra tick to kill it, which is unfortunate. But some of the graveyard is still alive, and the Mega Knight is going to lock on the tower, and that's going to be game. So we won that one pretty easy, too. Um, just we were patient, and then when we finally went in for a graveyard when I was up elixir after he wasted a princess, we were just able to come in and get the win. So... Now we're at 5100. I think I'm still gonna play another game or two. Uh, let's go ahead and open up this silver chest. Do that and then cue that. So yeah, we're at 5111. Not bad. I'll, I think I'm gonna go for one or two more games. So let's go ahead and search for the next one. And hopefully by next video, I forgot if I already said this, but hopefully by next video, I can get my poison to level 11. I'm gonna trade with my clan. Oh, you know what I could do? I could also show a replay that I had against the level 13 earlier who I beat. I think that might be good to end off a replay, but I'll play another live game before I do that. This guy's gonna have a bomber, so bomber isn't too good, but when it's really high level, it can be kind of annoying. Like against an E-Wiz or something, it like two shots it. That could be problematic. Um, 
let's go ahead and he was here first to cycle and then go with a mega knight right on top of those barbarians they are going to get a lot of damage i honestly underestimated that rage spell a little bit to be completely honest and then Ewis is gonna walk in front of oh and did i say okay wait a minute did i say a lot of damage <laughs> okay i think i said a little bit of damage that ended up getting a lot of damage wow i'm uh, i was a little mistaken there so let's night witch there on the bomber and the pekka one shots our goblin brawler hopefully he doesn't have a Okay, good. I was going to say. So, he does have a witch. His witch is going to be mm, actually underleveled compared to his king. So, that's interesting. He's going to have a max P.E.K.K.A., but his witch is only level 11. So, now we know what his deck is. That's good, at least. And, guys, I'm telling you, I completely underestimated that rage spell. I, I, If I could do over, you know, what I did this game, I would have definitely snowballed the barbarians so then that way i could have gotten a mega knight down right away but look at this he's going to do the same thing again and obviously this time we have the elixir to go in for a mega knight right away so we're going to take no damage and now i know he's down quite a lot of elixir i mean he just wasted seven elixir so he's only going to have about four elixir right now to defend this and he's going to spend three on a bomber so now i think he has about two again so we're going to hold off on the poison i feel like that's a little bit um I don't know i feel like i don't need to and it's best that i saved it for the witch like right here and that is going to clip the bomber one time so pretty good poison Whew. let's watch out for this uh this this pekka here that's level 13 uh go with a he was here Hope we can get damage in. I'm going to send in a graveyard now and go in for a poison. And then let's go ahead and snowball. Uh, ooh, come on. Ooh, we got one more. This is going to... Alright. No, uh, that's going to be a good game. And he is going to be MS2, unfortunately. So that time we do end up losing. That was a little unfortunate. Uh, obviously, if I didn't take that damage at the beginning of the game, uh, I probably would have won. So that was, well, yeah, probably. That was So that was for sure a little bit of a mistake on my end here. We'll just go back to the beginning of this game real quick. And this is what I did wrong. I, first of all, leaked like an elixir there because I was caught off guard. That was a huge mistake. Shouldn't have done that. And then also, um, yeah, basically that was the main issue, I think. I leaked that one elixir. Uh, yeah, that definitely cost the game there, I feel like. But overall, that level 13 P.E.K.K.A. kind of shredded us because it does good against the Mega Knight. It kind of like one shots the Goblin Brawler. So, yeah, that was unfortunate. Let's just go ahead and go into the next game, though. And hopefully we can get the trophies back. We're going against another level 12 here. Uh, ben Benzi. And after this game, maybe I'll play one more. And then show the replay that I was talking about. So he's going to go ahead and start off with a uh, Inferno Drag. I'll just E-Wiz. Could have actually waited and leaked a couple Elixir for it to cross over. But I don't think it's going to matter. Especially since he's going in... Wow, really aggressive right now with a uh, minion horde and a goblin barrel. Look at that. I'm not going to snowball that or do anything. I felt, I feel like he's, he's, and because he's down so much elixir right now, we're going in for a graveyard really early on in the game. I feel like there's no risk doing this. Worst case scenario, he's just going to be able to defend this and we'll just have a small thing that we have to defend like uh okay so he's gonna go for the battle ram the level 13 battle ram wow but the wizard's gonna get targeted see this is why this is guys why i love the goblin cage it's so value even against like i mean you guys probably saw that was a uh by the way guys goblins do way too much damage if they're higher level than your king so you can't just ignore them he is going to go for a minion horde, though. Uh, Baby Dragon, despite the fact that it's three levels lower, still shuts down the minion horde. 
and will get one hit on their tower. Wait, at least I think it will. It's two, it's... Okay, no, it's gonna defend it. Um, so yeah, that's why, guys, you know, even being under level, if you just... A lot of it has to do with, like, you know, using your cards properly. And let's go ahead and Goblin Cage here just to block and, like, protect the Night Witch a little bit. Because I didn't have the best rotation there, to be honest. And we're going to make it into double here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and... Let's actually Mega Knight on top of that. He's going to play it all in the back, so we can easily just clean that up with one Mega Knight. I'm feeling he's going to Minion Horde right now, just considering his cycle. There it is. There's the Minion Horde, as expected. Baby Dragon here. Um, I'm going to get a Snowball off on this. Freeze is probably coming down. There's the Freeze. Uh, a lot of what they do is really predictable, too. He's probably going to Wizard here right now. No, it looks like he goes in for the uh, Battle Ram. I was wrong about the prediction that time. I, I really did think he was going to go for a wizard, um, but he's going in now with a barrel. Let's just get an Ewiz on that, and now, guys, I think it is time to, yes, after that wizard, it is time to go in for a, maybe a graveyard? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get a Mega Knight down. I don't even know if I'm going to Graveyard. I think I could just overwhelm him here and then go in for a Graveyard, maybe. We'll see, though. Now's a great time to Graveyard. Let's go. Graveyard. Bad Inferno Drag. It's just going to get stunned by the Ewiz, and that should be good game. There we go. We were very patient, and we went in aggressive towards the end and just overwhelmed him. He wasn't able to defend. So, yeah, like I said, um... Use your cards properly, and it isn't too difficult to beat these overleveled players. Uh, I mean, this guy, like I said, level 12, uh, he had a few max cards. He had the Battle Ram, the Minion Horde, uh, just two then, I guess, but everything else was level 12. But we were still able to win, even though all our cards are 10 and 11, and our King's 10. So we'll go for one more game, I think, because I've only been recording 17 minutes now, so I think one more game would be good, and then I'll go over that replay. Um that I, well, wait a minute, I hope it's in my battle log, since it was so long ago, it might not be, so I might just have to play two more live games then, yeah, I take that back, I think it was too long ago, because I think only 20 games are shown, and it was, and it was like when I was at 4,900 when it happened, so, yeah, never mind, so, versing level 11 here, not as, uh, not as bad as level 12, I guess, but he could have very high level cards, so we need to be cautious about that. Go ahead and cycle our baby dragon, St. Lane, and he's just going to fire spirits, so we'll snowball those. Um, He's going to zap that, interesting. Pretty bad zap, actually. We'll go ahead and cycle um, a Night Witch. And an Ewiz. Oh, it looks like someone... Someone's in my chat right now, even though I'm not streaming uh anyways back focusing to the game uh i'm gonna go ahead and night witch uh he's down a lot of elixir right now so this goes back to what i was saying when you don't have a this is the one thing about not having a zap and having snowball instead you're not gonna have her set to the inferno uh i'm gonna go ahead and be pretty aggressive right here because after you went in for that hog uh push i knew he was pretty low on elixir but he is back to an Inferno, which is unfortunate. So he should be easily able to defend this. But now that I know what he's running, um, I think we should be fine here going into double, especially if I play play well. We'll get a Goblin Cage set up for his Hog Rider. If he's going to go in for a Hog, we'll see. There's his Hog Rider. And he's going to Barrel as well, so we need to get a Snowball on that for sure. And the hog doesn't get a single shot, which is great. Let's go ahead and go in for a graveyard right now. And he's going to have barbarians, so I don't think he's used those at all this game. 
Look at that. We're going to get so much damage just off of one graveyard push. Wow, that's that's really nice. Um, He's crying right now, guys. Obviously not too happy. Set up another goblin cage here. Uh, we need to we need to have great defense though. Now that he infernoed, I'm gonna Mega Knight in the back. See if he's gonna go for a hog now into us. I doubt he would. Um, looks like he's gonna go and do it opposite lane, so that's interesting. Let's go get an Ewiz down right now. Um, it's gonna get a he's gonna get a decent amount of damage, but look at this counter push. Oh my God! Look look at this! Look at this counter push! Wow. I, I mean, I don't know if he can defend this, especially if I get a poison off right here. Yeah, let's go. So, I mean, he went super aggressive into the opposite lane. Um, and... Yeah, he just... And then, yeah, the guy in the chat said, go outside for once. Well, it's like 20 degrees outside. I, <laughs> I prefer to stay warm right now. But yeah, it's pretty cold where I am because it's like you know, middle of, or end of December. So let's go ahead and open up the rewards we get here in Pass Royale and skip those strikes because I like all those cards. Zap's fine, Mortar's fine, Musketeer's fine, Goblin Gang's fine. So don't need anything else. I'm fine with all those. Uh, and we'll go ahead and play one last game and then we'll call it a video because like I said, I think the replay was too far down and plus you guys prefer the live games anyways. So, found another game here against Kong, uh, Kong Golem, I wanna say. Then a Goblin Cage here, he's gonna Dark Prince at the bridge, first play of the game, super aggressive, not too sure why, um, but Goblin Cage stops that really easily. And then we'll just go ahead here and Night Witch in the back. And he's going to Bandit. So Bandit, Dark Prince, I mean, could be like a Pekka deck or something. I'm not too sure. So I think E was here. Don't really want to leak Elixir. He's going to have Princess. So very strange deck so far. It could be anything at this point. Because I sometimes forget it. This trophy range, you can't really ever assume what it is, to be honest. It could, it could really just be anything. So he's going to let the Princess die. Um, I have a feeling here that we might need to, well, ignore that Dark Prince, because I need to defend. What level is that Goblin Barrel? Ooh, I guess I need to do mm. Hmm... Well, we're, we're gonna get his tower, but look at both of ours super low. He gives us the wall played. I mean, I guess it's good I got his tower, but... Um... This is gonna be tough. I doubt we're gonna be able to defend both towers, so most likely I'm gonna have to end up taking his left tower. Uh, but let's get a goblin cage up right here for defense. In case he wants to go for a dark prince at the bridge, or princess at the bridge, he won't be able to with that up. Um... All right, let's get a Night Witch here. He was right on top of the barrel. That actually helped me. When they juke the barrel and you don't have a log, it's kind of helpful when they do that. It's just, it makes it easier. So just kind of like a tip, if you use the gun barrel and the other person doesn't have a log or bar barrel, don't juke it. It just helps them. Uh, let's get a Mega Knight down. And we're gonna, we're gonna t let him take that. We're gonna ignore the Dark Prince. Let's kill that princess with the poison. That shouldn't take tower, but it's... Oh, it's not gonna get any damage because the King Tower helped out and was able to finish off everything. Oh, look at the Night Witch! Ooh. If he doesn't have a rocket, we're gonna win. Night Witch is so good. Even at level 10. Wow. But yeah, if he doesn't have a rocket, we win. If he does, then... Oh, gosh. Please, three crown? King Tower is really bad at killing Graveyard. And if he doesn't have the answers right now, we win. I have a Snowball. There we go. That's going to be a good game. This game was so back and forth. I'm telling you guys. Like... 
you know what? I have time for one more. Why not? Because I'm not making a video tomorrow. Uh, it's cr Christmas Eve, and I'm not making one on Wednesday either because it's Christmas for me. So we'll make this kind of a somewhat long video, about 30 minutes. So yeah, I'll do one more. I'm going to go ahead and take the healer. I need to get that upgraded. Uh, ooh, I guess I haven't unlocked it yet on this account, so let's upgrade it a couple of times then. I, th I should be able to get it to probably level 7, I guess? Yeah. All right. One more game, and that'll be it, and then we will actually get to 5,200. I said I was going for... Okay, level 13. Here we go. Good luck. We need to do our best here. So, this is even better. We're playing a live game against level 13. I was saying I had a replay versus one, but this is even better. We're versing level 13. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing, but maybe it is if we can end up winning. Because that would be pretty cool. A good way to end the video, getting to 5,200 off of beating a level 13. Regardless of him having max cards or not, it's still pretty good because his towers have just so much more health than ours. So, he's going to rocket. And you know what's crazy, guys? That rocket took probably like a fourth of our tower. So, that's just insane. I can't snowball that, e that wizard because my snowball's level 10, tower's level 10. That wizard would have gotten so much damage. So... I'm gonna baby dragon here. He's gonna go for a really aggressive princess. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and graveyard right now because he is pretty low on elixir after going in for that rocket, princess at the bridge, wizard, whatnot, all of that. So he's not gonna have a lot. I mean, he has a Valkyrie, but that's not nearly gonna be enough uh, to, I mean, like deny damage. So we're gonna goblin cage here. Notice how I played that. The bandit isn't gonna dash. So that's gonna... I guess like utilize utilize it the most um i just misclicked the night witch uh, i think i just made my first like big mistake of all the games i i can't believe i did that uh, i you know i know everyone makes mistakes but uh, that's pretty bad that was a pretty big mistake and not a good time at all to make that versing a level uh Okay. I'm gonna go in for a graveyard here. I need to get damage. It is aggressive, but you know what? After those arrows, I feel like it's not a bad idea. And you know what? He's gonna play a golem, so... Yeah, I actually don't think that that was that bad of a graveyard. We are able to take his tower because he decided to go in for, a, like, a golem for whatever reason. Um, now, he is gonna take our tower, obviously. There's... Not really anyway, I don't think I'm going to be able to defend the Golem, which is alright, because our tower is super low anyways, and obviously he just had a rocket, so he would have been able to take it out whenever he wanted, to be honest. So, how are we going to end up taking his left tower? That's the question. I think what we need to do is go in for a graveyard when he Golems, and it looks like he did that right now, so we're going to go for a graveyard. Um, there's a Skarmy, Snowball right on top of that to get the Graveyard as much damage as possible. Night Witch, and let's just try to overwhelm him. Our Graveyard got, like, no damage on his tower, which is so unfortunate. Let's go ahead and Baby Dragon here, keep trying to overwhelm him. Um, he's gonna Wizard, that's a little annoying, but we'll Poison that, try to whittle that down as much as possible. Let's go for a Wizard, uh, Ice Wizard, or e -wiz, excuse me, on defense couldn't speak uh and let's hope he goes in for another golem because if he does we'll just go for a uh, graveyard um can't do it right now though i don't think just because not really the best time i feel like um what's good for us though is huh he's gonna go for a rocket and he's gonna miss everything uh well i i, I don't i assume he was trying to hit the night witch too so with that being said He's not going to be able to defend this, I don't think. Let's go for a graveyard now. I'm going to go for Prediction Snowball on his Skarmy. Ah, he's going to play it low. That's unfortunate. But look at the graveyard. Look at the graveyard. Mega Knight's going in. Ewiz is behind. And that is going to be game. So we do manage to beat this level 13. I mean, his cards were lower level. I mean, he had a level... Uh, I mean, you know, he had... Like, a level 11 bandit, level 11 princess, but same time, I mean, max rocket, max golem, you know, a bunch of annoying cards like the Valkyrie, wizard, Skarmy, 
So not a bad win at all. And that's going to put us at 5,200, which I think is a great place to end this video. So please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And let me know what you guys want to see me push to as a level 10. Like what goal do you guys want to see me hit? Um, 13 days of the season left as I asked. At, uh, excuse me, can't speak. 13 days of the season left, as I said, so there's so much time for me to climb up. I probably won't go back on this account again for another couple of days, though, because first of all, I'll be busy for Christmas, um, and then day after Christmas, I'll be on my account majority of the day because I have something called the Brenchon Cup, so I probably won't go on this account again, most likely until late Thursday or Friday, so that might be when the next video is, unless you guys want to just see top ladder on my main account Thursday, I'll just see what I want to do, but regardless, let me know what you guys thought about this video, and if you guys want me to continue doing it, because I thought this would be pretty helpful for you guys, considering that uh, most of you guys are probably around the 5,000 trophy range, so if I'm, you know, making video where majority of the player pool is, you know, I thought maybe that would be, yeah, helpful to you guys, but uh, yeah, like I said, guys, uh, Thanks again until next time, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video.